see some goodies, that's for sure. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. Okay. Oh yeah. I can definitely see some phones. Loads of phones. Look for my head torch. Uh, oh, so long, so long. We have got scoops. Gosh, there is so much in here. We've got phones. I'm not sure if these are IP phones. I can see phones, I can see cable. Got pieces that were there from a pickup. Look at this, so many. Yeah. See, don't know if these are IP phones or not. I'm thinking probably. Mm. Looks like a phone system, so it could be. What have we got here? Some sort of pump. A nice chunk of cordage. Yahoo! So this is filling the car up, folks. It's an ironing board. I don't want to take that right now. That's plastic. Okay. Oh, sweet. This looks like it goes to the phones because it's Panasonic voice processing system. I'll take it. I don't know what this is, but I'll take it. I'll take this as well. Oh, I'm actually filling the car up right now. Might be a nice board in there. This. That's metal. Oh, that's a bit about the ironing board. I don't want to miss anything. So I've got my grabber, but it's so full. Another phone. There's phones all over this skip. This is so random. There are phones. Pile up the phones. Obviously, we've done their phone system. <laughs> There's a phone in a birdhouse. That's one of the more random things I've found, that's for sure. It's a load of rubble. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh my god, guys, look. It's got cable. What is this? What is this thing buried in here? Oh, this has got some lovely weight to it. Oh my god. Yes. This is the main phone system. Oh fantastic. That's got that's gotta have some decent boards in it. It's just got to. I'm gonna put this one straight in the car. Oh my god, look, there's so much. I think I need to open the back seat. God, I can't even fit it all in the boot. This is incredible. I've got my grabber, but everything's at the top. I don't think I need the grabber. Look at this. <laughs> Yoink, 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 yoink. Oh my god, I've got another one. Can't get that in one hand. It's all tangled together. God. <laughs> They're all tangled. God, I'm okay. 
This is Skip Scores. Skulls, guys. I've missed this so much. So, so, so much. Okay. Oh, this is a heavy one. Oh my god. So tangled. I better not forget the ones that are already on the floor. I've lost count now. How many phones is this so far? They clearly upgraded their system. Suits me. Into the scrap wagon. Oh, don't need to take extra foliage. Wow, I swear that's actually wedged in there tight. Okay, now this is really heavy. This one is another like, switch. Sweet. This is brilliant. I wonder how long this stuff's been sitting here. Never fear, Solders is here to scoop it up. That's for sure. Scoopy, scoopy. <laughs> scoopy, scoopy. Alright, what else we got? That's heavy. Another tiny little TP link. Yoink, yoink, yoink. I bet that's not everything. I bet, I bet, I bet there's gonna be more. It's just still, but it's metal and it's heavy. Alright, those three more down there. Bird feeder cage. Is that all the phones? I don't want to risk anything being left under this foliage. Which I think... Oh, it's a bird feeder. What's that up under there? I mean, there was a phone in this birdhouse. <laughs> Chunky bolt. Just want to double check. I don't want to leave any goodies behind. No. What do you reckon, guys? Do you think we've ransacked it? There's so much wood. Who knows what's underneath it? There was already wood in this uh, bin. This skip before, like when I last came, but it was nowhere near this full. Uh, it's all just, it's all just wood, I think. I mean, I might take that when I'm closer to doing a shred run. If the skip's not emptied by then. Hang on, I just, I just want to... be you know too thorough just to make sure sweet shall we actually just have a look at this we've got that lot yeah and this lot god it's marvellous it must be 15 phones, 20 maybe? No, maybe not 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
nine, ten. No, there might be twenty, you know. Sweet. Seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. <laughs> Great. Okay, well, it's time to get this lot out of my beautiful baby. Um, I'm going to start processing it. So I want to see what we've got, what we actually get out of this lot. Which is a little bit of a mistake, isn't it? In actual fact, but I'm not going to worry about the steel. Um, it's more the e-waste. I want to work out what we, what we get. Um, Okay, so I'm up the shed. Um, I've taken the cords off of most of them. These are a few that I forgot that got left behind. Um, let's tear them down as quickly as possible and then we'll do the switches afterwards. Um, I will probably speed this up for you, but obviously all of the plugs I'll be keeping to go in my gold bearing, which is a pound a kilogram. Um, and We'll see what boards we get. Typically though, IP phones have really nice boards. Um, most of the phones are this exact model, but I have got some that I think were 322s. I'm almost sure uh, there were some bigger, like this one is bigger. Oh, 333s. Um, so they're not all exactly the same. So we'll compare what the boards are like in the different models as well, actually. Um, but obviously, in the phones, you've got nice cordage, added value there. Um, different yards, different rules. My yard will take all of this as VIR. Um, but some yards won't take this as in VIR because it's... Kind of like um, it, it's more like a data cable these cables um, even this one but because it looks more like an actual um, uh, VIR cable it goes in but if your yard is a yard that won't take this then actually if they knew what this was they wouldn't take it either because it is as you can see it's like data cable but yeah my yard takes this in VIR so the cable does add up nicely obviously you've got these bigger ones here see the gold into the plugs so what I'm gonna do is in a moment I'm gonna speed it up for you so that you don't die of boredom because I don't want you to do that I need you. I need you guys. Definitely don't want you to kill over because you're bored census. That would be grim. And then I've done, as I said, most of this processing of the cordage inside. Um, so I'm just going to speed up with the board removal of these phones. I'll do one um, for anyone who hasn't done one before because they are, I love them. I, some people have asked me recently, what's my favourite thing to scrap? This is one of them, and the reason is, is because they are so quick and easy. Unless, you, obviously, you get one with the devil screw, which, you know, we, we come across them, don't we? Um, but they, it's usually four or five screws and you're in. So, you know, that's what we like as scrappers. We like easy access, don't we? So, <laughs> you know, that is definitely nothing to complain about. Ooh, well, there's a little bit hanging on there. So, <clears throat> let's start with this one. Why not? In for a penny. So this is one of the m most common ones I've got. KXDT321. So, let's see. Let's see how quick it takes. It is one, two, three, and four. So the fifth screw is there, and these are, you're supposed to just be able to 
remove these but my wrists aren't strong enough so what i'm going to do is give these a chat with a hammer to reveal that last one and bingo there was a man who had a dog now i've got nothing to grab onto so here we go you see quick quick three screws and you're done so now obviously this isn't the best example i've seen actually some of my older videos have got better much better ip boards than this um, but it is still a good board um have to look back through my grading video to remind myself because it's been so long but I, that's probably um, probably the 220 kilogram maybe so the other thing is you get this now anyone who's ever received anything from me will know that I use this I, I try to recycle everything I can or repurpose or just you know in some way create as much as possible out of this e-waste and so these i actually use as packing material so when i make like a resin um sculpture like this for example i will wrap her in these and you know you get the really long ones in keyboards and it's just it's just repurposing instead of just chucking that in the bin i can't recycle this here i can only recycle bulk plastic at the recycling center this um lots of people ask me so i'm going to put it in my video once that bulk plastic bin is full it's full and everything else goes into like the other like general household bins that they've got um but the good thing is is that our local authority nothing goes to landfill all of our household waste all of it goes to the uh, power plant to be uh, incinerated for power um, as part of that incinerating process I I've researched it <laughs> what happens is um, it get it goes along the conveyor it doesn't get separated so if it's in that waste bag uh, that's that's it it's going in the incinerator but what they do do is they separate after incineration so um well, depending on which power plant, actually, because I have seen a video where they do use things to try and pick out non ferrous like infrared that shoots it off the conveyor. But as far as I believe, what happens with ours is that it all gets incinerated. And then after the, it's incinerated, the ashes um, are processed and all the ferrous metals come out of it so that then goes to the steel plant to be melted and they are in the process of actually trying to refine the ashes because what they have discovered is is that nearly every element on the periodic table uh, is present in those ashes so what they're trying to do now is once it's actually been used for the power source that leftover material they want to process that as well and really draw as much out as possible so it's really brilliant and i'm I, I love it and i love the fact that none of our waste goes to landfill i really do so so yeah so that's good anyway i've waffled on there um i know that there are different local authorities in different countries as well have similar but slightly different uh techniques so um it's just great because everybody is trying to come up with these methods of just trying to make everything we're doing as humans on this planet that we're borrowing to live on. Um, just trying to do it as, as, as good as possible now and trying to sort it out. So, you know, it's good. So, yeah, I save these for packing material because why not? That's exactly what we should do. So because I am what I am. <laughs> This could just go into plastics um, and it will get processed and the metal will be removed at some point. But actually, for the sake of just three screws, I will remove these speakers um, and, and recycle them my way. 
because it's, it's no problem. So I used to keep all the buttons as well, the, like the button pads, um, because, um, well, I just I used to make them into things. So I have got a big thing of assorted key buttons, letters, numbers. Um, there's only so many that you can keep, although I might keep a few of these, but numbers aren't quite as useful as the letters anyway. So, um, but these are no, no benefit to me. So they'll just stay on plastics and that'll go in plastic. But I need a new bag for these actually. So I'm just going to put these in another bag. Let's speed this baby up now. Okay, so these are the slightly different models. KXDT333. Um, they've got, they're a bit beefier. They've got a beefier base on them. They've got some sort of big little flathead. There we go. What would be this? No idea, nothing there. Oh, it's a bit weird when there's a flap to nowhere. Uh, let's just see how easy this is to get into. One, two, three, four, five, and I get to that. Six. Six screws. And the board looks virtually the same. The only noticeable, I'd say, difference, oh, there is a steel plate on there that I'll get off is that um, this chip is bigger. Oh, there's a cut, there's two. Oh no, the others had two as well. Of course they did. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's see, let's get it out and have a proper look. Still just three on there. Obviously I need to process these to get the gold plugs and stuff off, but that'll be for later. And so that one hasn't just come out with it. That needs a bit more help. Um, okay, so let's compare. Let's compare the models. Very similar, I would say. Um, yeah, it's just basically things are in different places, but components wise, actually, this chip's slightly bigger, like I said, but actually, not much else different. So, they're not even gold flash, these ones. These are, I've definitely seen a lot better. Um, but they're still value and 100% still worth doing. Got a bigger one of those to wrap round goodies. Uh, the screen, these ones have got screens, bigger screens. Let's have a look here at the little screen board. Oh, that one's got to come off too. So I've unscrewed it, but it still doesn't want to come. 
come out. Okay, here we go. I was just hoping for some some gold flashing somewhere, but sadly, it doesn't look like Panasonic have gone down the uh, gold flashing route. And they haven't, and that board, other than that tiny bit there, has got... There are some gold pins there, I suppose. I mean... I don't know if my refiners would even take that. I suppose what I could do is cut these off. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to ask them about that. And there's the screen... Obviously, the screens are actually a bit of a pain because they need recycling separately and uh, there can be a cost for that. So bear that in mind. But with these, what I would do is I, when I'm uh, doing a monitor or a TV, I will fill up the back with these. So if you're paying per item or by weight, by weight, it makes no difference it's all just going in together isn't it so right oh there's another different model here um oh this looks a lot older this one kxt7710 um this is definitely an older model you can just tell from the way it's put together really even the screws kind of give away got a little button there for the for the ringer volume that's hilarious it's not normally done by a manual button on the back just trying to work out what this is that I just unscrewed don't know um can't get in there so I'm gonna have to do those two manually but that's okay don't mind it use my hands occasionally it's just the RSI thing. So let's have a look. I was gonna, I was gonna mention something, but actually, I think I'll. So, oh my god, older isn't always better, folks. Look at that! <laughs> Thank God they weren't all these. This is terrible. What a rubbish board, blimey! So um, basically, this one. Is, 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 yeah, oh, it is. Okay. Well, I didn't think it was an IP phone, maybe, but uh, alas, it is. So, ooh, wibbly, 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 wobbly. That's interesting. Um, got some more. Oh, what, what's the term for this, folks? I just called it like wibbly wobbly, but I'm pretty sure <laughs> that's not the actual technical term for it. <laughs> so tell me, what are these wibbly wobblies called? Um, okay, board, literally one decent chip. That's it. Brown one side. So terrible value for me. Um, lowest of the low. That is what they will call a low, low board. I'm like, great. Even though it's got an IC chip on it. That is not a board that will interest refiners. Tiny little speaker. So there we go. I do quite like the boinginess of these. Might keep those. Do something with those. Okay, just gonna speed up these last one, two, three, four, and then get to some more good stuff. Okay, so got myself a nice pile of boards. Can't complain. Now, sometimes it's worth scrapping these handsets because they can surprise you inside. Because of the quality of these, I'm not thinking this is actually going to be one of those cases, but you know, there's no point not investigating. Um, 
one I normally like to use for this. So you just have to get this central screw out. And then a little dink. I say that, it's not playing ball. So, forgot my safety specs. Oh, my nail! Oh, oh you son of a. Oh no! <laughs> Can you believe it? All the way down there, you absolute. Oh, damn it! Not the nails! That's the second one in like, I don't know, a week. Damn you. That's it now. That's it. Now you're going to get it, mate. You are going down in a big going down fashion. Yes, you are. <sighs> you break my nail, I break you. Okay, yeah, rubbish. So, gold bearing, little steel plate, little bit of singles wires, and in honesty, because those are also a batch to get into, um, I will put these into, hmm, Sam, I thought they might have been aluminium, I have found aluminium before. These will be going into shred from now on. So I'm not going to process the rest of these. Um, although I don't know which was which, but the boards weren't that different anyway. So yeah, these will go into shred. So now, down my top. Let's get to the switches <coughs> that came with this lot because they are sexy, sexy. I also got some nice cordage out of the. Uh, Got something sharp down my. Excuse me. Oh. Right. More plastic for recycling. Let's see the boxes that came with this lot. So, this one is so lightweight. I mean, ridiculously so. Um, this is the voice processing system. So. Let's have a look. It looks it looks like this looks like a lifty flap because it's hinged. I don't know, but it's so light. This what is in here? I don't know because it weighs a nothing. I just I just feel like this is supposed to open for some reason because of these hinges. Um, don't go straight to the hammer sawers. Be a little bit more delicate than that. Yeah, right. This is like a secure box thing. That doesn't slide. There's actually no screw holes here in these. What is with this? So I'm just gonna smash the hinges off. No, maybe I'll give it a dink. See if it'll open. I don't want to smash it on top of the screens. That would be a bad idea, wouldn't it? Okay. Okay. These systems are designed to be worked on, so literally there's got to be a way in to these. But 
you know, I'm not going to waste my life trying to find it. For something that weighs nothing, that's a really nice board. Check that out. Hmm. Shame about the plastic box it's in, but that's obviously why it didn't weigh anything. Well, it's obviously an integral part of this telephone system. It's also a real shame because, you know, I have permission to dive that skip. Well, they do also... Hey, you've got some daughter cards. Got a daughter card. They do also book me for e-waste pickups, that place. Um, and so I think it's a shame that they had put this... This had gone into the skip. <sighs> because obviously, actually, this system... They've obviously just upgraded their system, I imagine. I imagine it was working, but then of course it got left in the skip in the rain. And therefore, I'm not prepared to sell on something that's been left out in the rain. It's just not okay, as far as I'm concerned, to, to do that. I can't guarantee like the integrity and electricals in the rain just don't mix. I know lots of people do dry stuff out and sell it on, but I'm not, I'm not prepared to do that. So I would rather recycle it than have that worry of the mix of damaged, water damaged parts. To be honest, let's see what... All right, so there's a little bit of cordage under here. Oh, God. Wow, that was... Titanium plastic. Oh, okay. Ooh, I can see gold there. In the mood port. Okay, so... I don't think there's any more screws. It's just it needs to pop out. Which you just know is not going to be that easy, don't you? Don't you wish your girlfriend was a recycler like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was oh, a free like me? Okay, there we are. Let's get the battery off of there. Um, that's a really nice board, actually. So obviously you've got the big flat packs. I mean, I don't need to point everything out to you. You can see what's on this board. Um, these got nice gold pins in. Very nice. Um, so yeah, that that is a higher grade board. That one, you're probably looking at the four, maybe five pounds a kilogram category. I don't think it's up in the next bracket. I don't think it's in the six twenty. Oh look, there's a gold gold plating in there so I just nick those off all, all my motherboards and uh, yeah they add up where the jar is though could I tell you and the answer is no <laughs> yes yes let me show you the jar of risers not risers uh, Jumpers, sorry, jumpers. I, I, I do what I've noticed e-waste Ben does, and that's in when I'm in the excitement of scrapping, I get my words muddled up. And I don't often notice until I come to edit, and I'm like, damn, I was saying <laughs> the total wrong word. I know what the words are, but for some reason, I just... It's my disorganised brain, I think. So there we go. Can you see the gold in there? Oh. <laughs> so, there's the gold. It's got, they've got nice gold in them. And so these would go a pound a kilogram, but that's not what I do with them because obviously that would take a long time. And actually the gold, I think the yield would be good on those. So eBay them, marketplace them, 
or keep them for your own refining or sell them or give them to a uh, YouTube friend who likes gold refining. So yeah, I just, I whip those off of the boards. So, that, so that's that one. Some little metal plates in there. I will take those out. It's obviously virtually no value there, but I'll take it out anyway. I'll put it in with the shred. Oh gosh, can't get that out. I suspect they might be goldy. Mm, perhaps not. So the screws, the reason I took the screws out is that I make things out of the screws, obviously. It's a whole sack of plastic waste, gosh. Yeah, I make things out, uh, out of the screws. So they're actually, they have better value to me. Okay. Let's look at some of the bigger ones. We'll save the best till last. Um, let's do this one. It's an HPE official connect 1820 series switch. Mm hmm. So let's take the brackets off. To reveal the side screws. I love it when you get a little peek. Oh, hello, heatsink. What sort of yummy heatsink are you? And obviously, we've got metal, so we've got good, better value. And these I will probably used to store up smaller bits of junk for the for um oh don't do that don't do that oh you there's always one isn't there well i'm gonna see if i can do it without that bloody screw coming out just one, it would have slid right open if I hadn't steered that off. I know I can drill out screws, except for I don't have a working drill right now, so I can't. <laughs> so that's not, that's not a possibility if I'm here. I'm gonna have to give it a whack. It's all right, there's a will, there's a way. But yeah, it's gonna go right above where the screw is. annoying when you have to do that something that should be so simple wait a minute what I missed oh, God's sake. right that should missed any So, that should pop off now. There we go. Alright, that's just steel. Oh dear, not a lot, is it? Not a lot. Mm, some nice, I mean, there's aluminium heat sinks. It. I'll just slide out now. So, 
yeah, I'm going to remove the heat sink to show you what's underneath. Of course. Of course, of course. Um, yeah, there's a tiny bit of brass in there, but I'm not going to go after it. The connectors obviously have brass too. I do mostly take those. Okay, so just tiny power board with the usual. So this is the funny thing about these is that there's there's lots on them in one respect and nothing on them in another. So obviously you've got all of these um, RJ45 ports here and every one has gold pins in it. These are sometimes aluminium, they're sometimes brass. As you can see, these ones are brass. Um, so, you know, you can have those ones off. Now, these are transformer modules. They're obviously pretty big. Um, they're not worth anything. Right, so now we have come to the... Heat sinks. So they're like plugged in. I might as well do the other ones one. Here. Now, annoyingly, typically what happens with these is the chips come off with the heat sink. Um, and then, so don't, don't be surprised if, oh, I might have to still, oh no, I got it. Okay, so this one, oh, the cap came off though. <laughs> so the cap came off with the heat sink. Oh, for goodness sake. That's another one that came off with it. <laughs> So this is not ideal because it was just devalued this board massively because the chips have come off with the heat sinks. Um, in, in a lot of places you can put them in with these heat sinks. Um, but I always like to have a look to see what's underneath. So if you've got loads of the same thing, obviously that's not necessary. You don't need to do that. Dropping everything on the floor today, aren't I? Gently does it. Oh, damn it. God, they're stuck fast. What are they stuck with? I basically just ruined the value of this. Okay. But we're going to get to see right inside this BGA here. And you can see gold. You can see copper too. So you can see the gold. Quite a lot of it. And you can see the copper shining too in there. Uh, well that is annoying. And obviously if you do sell your chips by the kilogram, it doesn't matter. Just chip it off and put it in. Um, so that's that one. Obviously that's a smaller BGA. Um, the bonding wires are not gold. Well, they've used limin titanium glue on these. Really annoying. To be honest, yummy. Focus. Yummy copper. So there we go. Uh, that's that board. The transformer modules. Some of you might never have seen one of those. Why not? Let's show you one. Let's show you one. board honestly is like titanium scrap I tell you and there we are teeny weeny minuscule teeny little um 
copper coils with like no copper on them. So yeah, that's what, when I said they weren't worth anything. <coughs> that's why. We have got a little bit of gold there. So I think there are some gold bonding wires for that one for them. So I mean, that's your thing. Listen to the rain. Oh my God, it's time. I've got to stop soon to pick my daughter up. So let's quickly do this last thing. Try and see what's in there. What that was. There's some gold pins. Just quick. Just get this shielding off. What is this? This is weird. Look at these layers. Now what are those pins made of, I wonder? I think they might be silver, you know. I think we've found some silver. Definitely going to break down this more. Hmm. Keep that separate. That's interesting. Oh, this one's the beefy one. Beefy indeed. You don't have to undo those to get that out. That's okay. This is much more serviceable. Ooh, hey. Okay. Wow. This is not quite how I expected it. So we've got a big power board, and then these, these modules. Thomas. Probably not worth it if you have to pay to dispose of your plastic, maybe, or I don't know, but it's too many goodies. Lots of aluminium on there. Loads of MOSFETs. Nice MOSFETs, too. Whoa. Talking nonsense. Okay. Ooh, chunky risers. Do you know what? I'm going to come back to this. Got to go do the school run. Oh, it's another day. I'm just finishing off up here. That's what happened. Oh, look at the dodgy shape now. God, dear. So depressing. First world problems and all that though. I just hate the feeling of short nails. <sighs> right. Oh, my gloves are freezing. Bear with me. Oh, much better. The good thing about these gloves is they warm so quickly um, in front of the heater. Okay, so what we were gonna do is we were gonna finish tearing down and actually getting into this beauty, weren't we? I like these ones. They're always springy. So, let's see what we need to do to get that front panel off. SD card slot. Well, there's actually an SD card in it. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was going to be 128 gigs in. I was like, not too bad. Oh, oh <laughs> megabytes. Wow. Okay. So, I've got a little surprise. So, E Waste Jill, let's hope she's watching. She likes, she's wanting me to do a what's under the loo, <laughs> the brass loo thing. Well, there's actually something under the loo today. So stay tuned. We'll have that excitement in a little while. Oh, sorry. 
That's brittle. That's very brittle. Oh, hang on, we're gonna slide out now. We're gonna slide out. A bit like slots. There we go. Woo! Okay. I need my snips. Snippity snip. Snippity. Ooh. Okay. So. There's one. Nice. Oh, look at those little transformer modules there. I've never seen those look like that before. Okay, so obviously we've got the gold pins because this basically goes into like a back plane board. Um, just like slot cards. So that's cool. So obviously just need to, might as well do that as we go along so that is steel uh, no I wondered if any were black tanties they're not wow that's a massive MLCC though look at the size of that Whew. yummy so some of those that look like that aren't actually MLCCs, but I believe that one is. Um, old gold cap fuse over here. There. So, it was nice. And, okay, obviously your big chips. Right, so there's one. Well, they're not all the same. Interesting. Two. I thought there were three. Obviously not. Okay, so this one's got a totally different uh, configuration over here. In that, look at all of these old ceramic, ceramic capacitors. Um, I'm liking those. Cool. We've got so these are the transformers, like the transformer modules here, which obviously here we've got these ones. We've still got the big ones here. That's what these are, I suppose. But there's no layer of them here. We've also got That's interesting. Hmm, it's just got a little cap on it. Let me have a look at these. Sometimes you just want to overlook, don't you? At things. You know, I still, if I, if I don't recognise something, I'm going in. Ooh. Wow. I can see a colour in there I'm liking the look of. I can see gold. Would you look at that? There's some gold tips and some gold bonding wires on this. There's copper in there. Well, well. What on earth? am I looking at? This is a first for me. So, let's just break into it a little bit more. There's the two gold bonding wires that go down there. But I want to crack in. To the middle. Oh! Of this. So there is a... 
because I wasn't sure if it was a resistor or a relay. It has got that copper coil inside, so not a resistor. I just did the old squint <laughs> PPI. I should have had my glasses on and I don't. Okay, there we are. That's inside that. You've got a couple of, so just a couple of gold bonding wires and then this copper core. What's the solid bit in the side? Is it ferrite or is it? <sighs> yeah, it must be. Interesting. Well, there we are. Hmm. I mean, not worth breaking down on a micro point of view. There's not really anything in like weight in them, but just interesting so there's the other card so that's those two right obviously you've got the the back plane there which they're not actually called back plane boards but i have that in my head because that's what erase ben calls them and i can't remember um uh it might come back to me before the end of the video Side screws. So, will that just lift up? Don't know. Let's get these ones out. I got all those transformers. Um, much the same. Little golf cap fuse. Not a lot on them, is there? Jeez. A lot of rubbish on this board and not much else. <sighs> oh, but this one's better. This one's better. Okay, loads more on this one. All of a sudden, it's a totally different level of board. Whew, thank goodness. So, obviously, we've got massive chips here so they've got a lovely big bga it's not a gold corner but it's a nice big bga massive flat pack and some ic's um we've got brass risers yummy yes please i'll take them we've got a gold band crystal oscillator right there we've got um a tiny one there a tiny one there and that's it another gold cap fuse so totally totally different kind of level of board so that's good i'll have a look at the underside in a minute of course i want to just i'm taking the brassy goodness first that's not getting away from me but before i undo them all let's just double check yeah no sticky as mr scrappity would say i'm gonna put them up in my brass straight in straight in the old brassy tub i love finding brass risers it's just like a brucey bonus to whatever i'm doing dun, dun. So we are nearing the end, but do not go anywhere because, my God, I have got a fine piece of brass to show you guys. Oh, yeah. And, you know, who doesn't love a fine piece of brass? One fine piece of brass right there. Okay. Oh, that's why. Huh. That's why. 
why, because these ones have got blimmin' screws on them. Who knew? Who knew? Da da da! But not much. Basically, just another couple of ICs. So. There we go. Just take that steel plate off. Okay. Well. I will have to figure out how to get to this. Oh, there we go. That's how I get to it. The smaller bits. <laughs> Excuse me. So I'm not. We're not lucky like sharks over over here in that, you know, we get the metal mailboxes that we can fill up with our smalls. They're pretty cool looking LEDs, aren't they? Gotta love a light emitting diode. Who doesn't? I like those. I'm gonna have those. Creations! What's in the loop? What's in the loop? Are you ready? So, I have some new sculptures. Drum roll, please. Let me get them. In the loop. Well, there's a clue. This is the clue. What do we think it is, folks? <laughs> what do we think is in the brass loo today? If the observant ones of you will see here it says foreign. So, I haven't noticed actually, it says something here. It says foreign on the other side. I haven't read that. So, what do we think? Bum, ba da ba bum, 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 bum. <laughs> it's a corkscrew <laughs> I couldn't resist I just had to have it it's a heavy little corkscrew obviously modelled on uh, Piste the famous sculpture <laughs> and I thought that was fabulous in the most horrific way <laughs> so there we go I mean Goosh, goodness me, good God. We are, uh, he can wave that thing around. So yeah, it's a corkscrew. You can screw in and unscrew a cork. So <laughs> that was what was in the loo today and what, what a find, I think, what a find. So that's, that's that chap, but it came as a pair this is a very elegant brass lady sculpture, I think. I mean, look at the detail, look at the hair. I'm not sure the camera's going to pick it up, but actually, I think this is really nice. You know, I love a naked lady figure, brass. Um, yeah, I think it's really nice. It's, uh, no, <coughs> no markings or anything. It's just, it's hollow, it's hollow, but it's heavy. Um, but yeah, I thought, what an elegant pose. Like, I really like the pose. Elegant, not elegant at all. <laughs> so, there we go. So there we have it. That is the end of the show this week. So thank you for watching. Next week, um, I'm really not sure, actually. We'll, we'll see. I've um, got a lot of tidying up to do. I still want... Oh, yeah, I've actually still got quite a lot. And I've got the PCs from the pickup. There's only a few of those, though. 
a um, couple of extra bits in there that probably need tearing down from that skip dive. Oh, tired. But yeah, there we go. Love them. Absolutely lovely. You can see we've got some of the light patina. I need a bit of a clean up. But yeah, I quite like it from that way around, that way around as well, actually. But yeah, we'll pop them somewhere. And some of these things would be good for casting down the line. I mean, that'd be tricky to cast, wouldn't it? But <laughs> yeah, it's just a, an iron corkscrew bit. But okay, well, subscribe to Everyday Solars. Leave a thumbs up and a comment, please. <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking French, because obviously this sexy lady has to be French, right? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, he's going to fall over. He's going to fall over. His pecker's too big there. It's not, it's not evenly matched. <laughs> Gravity is against him. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye. I mean, the police officer's thrilled that uh, that's going to be her place. <laughs>